Perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nintendo Switch discussion. Uh, I got two awesome pals here. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Hey, everybody. My name is Clyde. This guy's on the my phone. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting my notes out, but my name's Anthony. You already saw me before, but... Yeah. And a cyclone, obviously, here at the uh, YouTube channel, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know... I don't know how the hell I came up with that name, but I just did. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, yeah, Anthony, you uh, brought some talking points, so we're going to go over the Nintendo Switch, basically what we think of the console and what we think uh, we can expect uh, from Nintendo uh, in the coming future. And as you guys know, that the presentation was last Thursday. Um, there was also another presentation about the games on Friday, so if you want to go take a look, it's all over YouTube channel, or you can check out the Nintendo.com. You can obviously see this presentation, what you feel like. But um, so I think my first question for you guys and for myself is like, the, let's talk about the overall presentation. Um, I'm going to give my opinion first and let you guys talk. I, I think when I was watching it and I watched it, first of all, let's just start out saying that 11 o'clock at night, Eastern time, that's ridiculous. I mean, like, to be honest with you, I'm trying to go to sleep and like, I'm trying to watch a presentation but i happy. felt like yeah it's like, it's like what 5 a.m in japan yeah and i, I just more. felt like the timing wise was a little bit ridiculous now i did research saying that um the president they haven't done a live presentation since 2012 and that was actually at e3 2012 and so it's a long time since nintendo has really done a live presentation but Scratch that. Like, my overall presentation, I, I felt the first half of it was insanely boring. Like, I'm sorry. Like, when they first released, you know, the Switch, it was cool and all. But, like, they got into these, like, AAA games that are boring. 1-2 Switch. Seriously? Guys. Like, Killer game. Farley. Yeah. I, I don't even know how to play that game. What What, what is it? So it's, basically, <laughs> it's, a, it's an icebreaker game. Yeah. And they're trying to sell it to college students. And it's, you know. It, it, it's going to bomb, and here's why it's going to bomb, because if you had that in the Wii, and that came out, it would sell. Because it, it's all doing with motion controls and how fast you can press a button, you could do certain mini games. I just felt like that was so Wii, Nintendo Wii. I just, oh, yeah. I don't feel like oh, yeah. that was... That's, that's their Nintendo gimmick. Yeah, I, 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 I was, I, honestly, I was snoring. I was really in the, on the verge of falling You're asleep. playing the sleeping game. When I was looking at one two switch, I, I felt like Nintendo in the first half it was just absolutely terrible when when the presentation started. Like the first thirty minutes were just absolutely boring, and then they were showing another game which is called Arms. That was another one. That's the one that was actually I, I kind of like that. I think Arms. that has promise. Yeah. It's made if the motion yeah. controls. I, are I think Arms is a big esports grabber because one, it's a fighting game, and two. It has to do with a lot of motion controls, and I think if it has a lot of variety within the um, the fighting styles, I think it would sell. Um, I do definitely look out to see if esports might grab that out. Um, they just need to have more character variety because some of the characters are kind of like, uh, they all punch people. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. there wasn't really any special. I, I want to yeah. see some more specials. Yeah. I want to see what they're. I want to see everyone have this own special move, their own tactic of how they fight with the arms. So. That's gonna be an interesting game. Um, what do you guys think, Klaus? What do you think? Um, well, as far as arms, of the whole presentation in, in general. Uh, in far in terms, in terms of arms. Oh, terms oh of arms. well, arms. Well, out of all the the games that I saw besides Zelda, I think that arms was the most promising, just because I like the fighting um, genre in general, and I felt that that could be something that you know. On top of it being a fighting game, it could be also used as a way for people to get up and actually exercise because, you know, with the motion and, you know, doing the punching motion, you know, for hours on end, uh, byproduct of that is probably losing some weight, burning some calories. And also, um, I felt that this game has lots of, a lot of possibilities as far as the, the game mechanics and how you play it. Um, I know we only saw two characters, mainly Ribbon Girl and um, I think Spring Guy, Spring yeah. Man, something like Spring that. Man. And I can see like the difference yeah, between their moves. You know, you know, doing the punching mo motion and then twisting it. You can curve the way they punch. You know, you can directionally how they move and jump up and down. You know, the arenas that they played in can probably add some more. You know, you can add the 
make it more dynamic as far as the arenas. You right. know, maybe you can you can fall off or you can mm, jump yeah, on levels. Yeah. You know, they can add some verticality to it. We can jump on top of platforms and then you know pummel your person from below. There's a whole bunch of possibilities. I think Nintendo can jump at this and actually implement in a game and make it a, a, a one of those breakout success games that no one ever heard about before. Mm-hmm. But as far as you know. Anything else, like like Ant said, you know, I want to see more characters. I want to see more play styles. You know, if all the characters pretty much play the same, what's the difference? You know, I think that will really hurt the game if all the play styles are the same. Mm-hmm. Also, like I said, level design and, and gameplay mechanics. But out of all the games, I feel like this had the most promise to me okay. besides Zelda. Zelda's obviously going to do very well. But as far as the new ones, like 1-2-Switch, I think ARMS is definitely the top one. Okay. Okay. What do you, um, you know, we were talking about the first half of the presentation. Like, what do you, did you watch the presentation live? Yes, I did. Uh, what you, what's your, like, honest opinion about it? Well, um, I kind of compare that, I, I say a keynote all the time, because I'm so used to Apple, I'm an Apple mm-hmm. guy. So, I kind of compare it to the Steve Jobs keynote when he first introduced the iPhone and the excitement around that presentation and, you know, how he demoed the iPhone and just, just the excitement and the enthusiasm around that product. And then I looked at the Nintendo um, press event, and I didn't get that feeling. Yeah, you know? I, I I didn't get that same feeling of excitement and enthusiasm. Like I didn't get that that feeling of yeah. As soon as this comes out, I want it. Right. I didn't get that guy. I didn't mm, get it. I'm gonna see what happens. It, you know it, what they saying? did mm-hmm. a lot of talking about the console, which I get it because no one knew about it. But it was too much talking. You know, mm-hmm. I just felt like yeah. they didn't really. Um, actually put the games to the test live, which I think that would have been a better idea to see, you know, how, how it works. I, I know there was another presentation the next day, but other than that, I just felt it was boring. Like, Evan, what do you think about the presentation? I, I definitely want to hear your opinion. On it. Um, I think uh, it was literally just them breaking the ice, you know, because they, they, again, haven't been on stage for a while, and then this was uh, their first time selling a console to this degree. Uh I think, as you said, Switch is their gimmick game to try and get, you know, very casual individuals to somehow pick this up. Uh, we're going to get into later why that's probably not going to be happening, uh, or at least we don't think so. Um, but uh, Project Arms, there is potential there because we saw the Pokémon Tournament uh, was pretty successful. It's and, big and e- a 3D it's, arena fighter. It's esports yes. right now. And, and it's Pokemon's right. right in esports right now. I mean, if, if, if this game puts motion controls and does it right, you know, up in center, then hopefully that'll allow other games to do it, uh, do justice for the motion controls as well, and maybe they can learn from it. But we have to see how that game does. I think it's actually going to be a good benchmark, yes. uh, Project Arms. So, so keep, keep, uh, keep your eyes open for that one. Okay. Um, yeah. So... Let's start, like, go into the pros. Let's get into the pros of the Switch. I know we all feel like a lot of negative. But uh, my opinion, I thought the games, the first party games, they, Nintendo, the one thing about Nintendo they don't disappoint is that they are probably, if not one of the best companies when it comes to the first party. I mean, they came out with Legend of Zelda being day one. That is huge. Because if there weren't anything that had to do with any Mario game or Zelda game on day one, yeah, it would right. default. Like, in my opinion. And having that coming out at day one, that that's pretty big. That's pretty big. It, you, it, it, it's something. It, it might not be what you expect it to be, Nintendo, but it they're going to get something out of Zelda. Zelda is a huge, it's around the world, it's globally popular. Um, again, I, I, liked, I liked Super Mario Odyssey was fantastic. Another game... That I think is going to do well, and I think it will sell during the holidays. Is definitely Super Mario Odyssey. Like, yeah, I, I play Galaxy, and that reminds me of Galaxy. I yeah, Galaxy. like <laughs> when I when I saw that, and I saw Mario in New York, I was like, what? Like, I always imagined Mario being like in a real time environment, but seeing that was actually very impressive. And I think what I liked about that game more than anything was the fact that. You know, Ari, you see Ari, see Mario doing his stomp and, you know, using his hands to fight. But he's actually using his hat as a weapon. And not only as a weapon, you can use it as a platform to it's actually platform. jump. I like that, that was very yes. innovative from Nintendo. I, I think that was genius. I, I definitely see it boosting sales for the Switch for that game. Uh, Splatoon 2 looked the same as the first one. Um, yeah, it's like Splatoon Plus. Yeah, it, it wasn't really we'll that impressive yeah. to me. I mean, yeah. the only thing it looked... 
was impressive is actually going to be uh, 60 frames, which is pretty big for it, especially for a shooting game. Um, it's definitely esports grabber, like we said about arms. That's it's already mm -hmm. esports right now, so I, I definitely see Splatoon two mm -hmm. uh, being in esports. Um, the two games that I'm I'm interested in seeing is uh Fire Emblem Warriors. Now Fire Emblem is actually very popular, as you we saw mm -hmm. play Smash earlier today and. Fire Emblem is huge. Um, I, I want to see how that game is. I know they brought in a teaser of it um, earlier, but I, I like to see where that goes. Um, I just hope it's not a knockoff of Hyrule Warriors because if it is, like, oh. then it's like, uh, yeah. it, it will still sell because it's Fire Emblem, but it's like, no, like the idea. The idea is what really catches my eye. And if it's the same thing in Hyrule Warriors, then it's like, it's not going to sell, you know? Yeah. We all know that Hyrule Warriors for the 3DS was absolutely god awful. Don't <laughs> buy it. Sorry. Um, I'm just saying, just letting you know. But like, uh, it, it it's just a, if it's just another wash down Hyrule Warriors, and it's not gonna sell. Um, the one game I think is gonna do well here, uh, which has actually gotten really popular, um, is Xenoblade. I Xenoblade the announcement of Xenoblade Two actually surprised me a lot. I didn't really think they were going to bring another one, but the fact that Xenoblade Chronicles being a hit, huge hit, and to this day, if you try buying it on the Wii or 3DS, it's actually, you will not find one over 40, under $40. Like, that game is actually very popular. Um, very, Japanese RPGs haven't been out there, and, you know, we'll save that for a discussion for later, but uh, Xenoblade kind of brought the uh, innovation back with the Japanese RPGs. Not only of the story but also like of the customization you could do in xenoblade which is exactly. awesome and yeah. i think it's definitely one of the best uh, japanese rpgs out there i know and i i know you guys are probably killing me because you know final fantasy 15 came out and stuff but you gotta you gotta <laughs> that's again that's for later on and we'll discuss about that um so evan let's start with you like yeah. what do you like what do you think about the, the first party games like do you feel like that? I, I feel like it's the Wii launch all over again with Zelda uh, being featured. I remember standing in line getting a Wii and, and I got uh, Twilight Princess uh, with the console. I think it's a solid move. You can't really go wrong with uh, launching with a Zelda game, especially since they kind of left people wanting more with the Wii U. Um, I think Mario Odyssey, again, is, is taking the, the strong points from the series. It's bringing it to even higher resolution. Uh, they have some new mechanics. And the trailer, I think, on YouTube has almost 7 million views at oh, this yeah. point. Oh, right. And that's not even a week. You know, that, that's, a, that's a good sign. It's a really good sign. Um, it gets people watching again. And I think that, um, you see, with the, with the Galaxy games, you were hopping from planet to planet. But in this game, you're on a planet in a world. And you're it, it's more, you know, I guess you could say outward expansion type of thing. Right. Versus just a planet. It's awesome. I don't know. Um, I think some people may prefer that style overall, and others might prefer Galaxy. I think this is going to take both the 64 and Galaxy and kind of mush it together. Yes. Um, I think one thing that they could have done, though, uh, I, there's a game coming out later that I would have loved to see being launched with this, and I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, so um, there was... I'm like, why didn't what, they launch this? What was it? Uh, it's one of the other big titles that's later on in the year. So... Oh, there, there was a, uh, I mean, there was Shin Megami. There was, uh, I can't remember all. I wish I had the list in front of me. Um, <laughs> Forget it. Uh, but yeah, I think the launch is, is solid. I think you have Zelda. They have Bomberman R. I remember seeing oh, that. Oh, yes. Was, yeah. yeah. Which, is, which is okay. Yeah. Bomberman will be a nice bonus game. Maybe some families will pick up for their kid. Um, but yeah, Zelda's going to gonna make or break this launch. Yeah. Klaus, mm. what do you think about the first party? I'm just going to piggyback off what Evan said. I think that Zelda was a good move having that day one, of course. You know, that's going to sell. That's going to bring a lot of hype to the system. But at the same time, I think they need to do more mm -hmm. as far as Zelda can't carry it. Right. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Not, I know. I remember the game. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe should have been oh, launched. yes. D silly. I was they didn't just, do that. I was just about to get silly. into that. They should have launched the big three. The Zelda, the Mario Kart, the Mario Odyssey, Ooh. and if when Zelda took one of those Marios out, Super Smash Bros. Smash, right, right there at launch, it would have sold like hotcakes.